bring this in. Oh god, waves are coming in. Come on, boat. Get the friggin' side here. We don't need you. Don't sink on me. What's going on, guys? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of Stranded Deep. So today is going to be the big day where we kill these freaking seagulls. Hold on here, I gotta find my damn spear. And they're gone before I can find it. So those are the seagulls that got away. But yes, today is uh, kind of accurately... Oh, there it is right there, isn't it? Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'm gonna pick that up just in case it comes back. But today is the day where we move into our very impressive building here. So if you missed the last episode, uh, was the biggest build episode yet. Not that we've really had any other build episodes. We built this dock system and uh, storage and uh, housing unit up here. So my plans today are to put a bunch of crafting um, dens in here. Put my bed in here, obviously, and then start storing everything. Oh, I thought I put a door in down here. I guess I didn't. I gotta de deal with the doors, but we got a bunch of space down here as well for storage. Alright, but before we get going on building, I did want to get some new resources as well. We are missing a lot of our major resources. I might need to also go to a different island to even get some more wood, depending on if any is regened over here. But yeah, I figured we'd get some rocks because we're going to be building a lot of furniture-related things today, so we're gonna need a little bit of everything. I might need to find some clay as well. We got some sticks back here. Uh, small pine tree. Can I actually... I don't even know if I can... I'm assuming I can cut with a pickaxe. It just takes a hell of a lot longer. Yes. Alright, so quickly looking over our uh, actual island. We actually do got a lot of new resources. The small pine trees grow really, really quickly. And that's going to allow us to get the sticks that we need. I mean, hell, we even still got trunks down here. We actually have quite a few resources over here. One thing we might need to go find is ropes. We do- I did get a bunch of yucca, but I know with a lot of the furniture we are going to need a lot of ropes today. So let's just make as much as we can. I have no idea how much that's going to be. Alright, so we got a grand total of like seven, which really isn't that much. We might have some more. Actually, we do have some more lying around. So yeah, we're doing better than I expected. So let's actually get to, uh... The building aspect of this. So first thing we're going to need is a bed. So we got lots of palm frond. It says we have zero lashing, so I guess we do need to pick them up. Uh, that's odd that we need to pick them up for building these things, but when you're actually building any sort of structure, you don't need to pick them up. So uh, just some new mechanics that we got to deal with. All right. Well, unfortunately, this is going to be way more expensive than I thought. We actually do need to use probably the vast majority of our wood here. We do have lots of trunks around that we can deal with, though. Uh, but I think it said it took seven wood just for the bed alone. All right, but yes, we are going to need that, and it's really the only bed that we can use. Aside from the bed that's outside, I'm going to actually get rid of that when we do get this all set up. So we'll start off with the bed here. Uh, we're just going to put that... Do we want it kind of... Uh, oh my god, I'm so picky. This is stupid. I'm not even actually sleeping here, and I'm worried about it. So we're going to... I like the idea of the bed over here. So we're going to put it over there. Then I got my nice view. I'm right kind of in the front door area, so I can get out quickly. It's perfect. All right, next thing I think I'm going to want to do is actually build some walls in there, because I do want a storage area. So let's go back and check out the walls. So we need driftwood wall. No, we don't need driftwood walls. We need wood walls. Why is it... Did I pick up all the... Did I use all the sticks? I think I did use all the sticks. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a new axe, because I can't seem to find my old one. It is just a mess in here. I'm so excited to be cleaning this up, because I spend so much time looking around at this stupid mess. Alright, now we should at least have some wood to work with. So, next up is the building of walls. So, what I think I'm gonna do, I was thinking about it... Uh, while I was cutting there. I think I'm gonna put mostly inventory related things down here. That way I can quickly bank because that's what I'm mostly doing. I'm running in my house, storing my inventory and getting out of it. So this first floor is going to be inventory, food and whatnot. Up here, I think I'm gonna put all the crafting stations. So with that in mind, I do want to wall off some of this stuff, and I'm just trying to figure out there's no real easy way to put a decently sized room in here. I think I'm gonna get a rather small room, start it here, and then have it three long all the way down underneath um, the stairs here. That should work really well. So that's gonna take four different... Whoa, okay, that really tripped me out. I'm like, where the fuck am I? I just went through the roof, guys. But yeah, I'm gonna need... <sighs> God damn it. Am, am I okay? All right, I'm gonna have to eat up and uh, heal myself. I uh, did fall off my roof. 
all the way down to the ground and it does damage you. But I am going to need four walls to do this. So let's uh, start this up here. And we're also going to need that tool. So there we go. Wood wall. All right. So actually, I think I might put a door. Oh, yeah, you know what? I like the idea of a door over there. That way, if we go through that door, the door's right in front of us. And I think we'll even put a door over here. So we'll have two doors into this room. I lied, actually. I, I want a window instead because having a door that moves inwards just gives us less space in there. Did I really... Ah, oh, these hammers do not last long enough. I know I got another hammer out here somewhere, but of course, the moment that I need it, the frigging sun goes away, and I'm not going to be able to see anything. Oh, wait, I think I saw it. Did I? I may, may, maybe I'm crazy. All right, because we can't really see, I'm going to go sleep now. I did eat up, too, so hopefully I fully heal, and uh, it's probably not going to be morning time yet. I went to sleep rather early. Yep, nighttime is still out. There's a status effect screen? I didn't know that. My watch got an update. Now, it's still 4 in the morning, so, uh, unfortunately... Oh, God, I lost all my, uh, hydration. All right, well, God damn it, I love this solar still. Best invention ever, because, uh, dealing with water now is just so damn easy. We don't even need more than one of them, so we're just gonna drink all that. We should definitely be all the way up now. And, of course, I'm hungry. All right, coconut uh, collection is depleting a little bit, getting a little worrisome, but uh, we can always go fishing and whatnot, too. And I do got some dead animals around here, so we should be full now. We're going to heal up after my little fall there. And yeah, now we just got to wait basically till daytime so we can actually start working. Maybe now I can kind of see around. Maybe I can find my hammer. I guess I could always make another one. But I feel like that's wasted resources. Ah, there it is. I found the crude hammer. Okay, so what was I doing in here? I actually forget. Oh, yeah, I was building the window when it uh, depleted on me. So let's finish this up. There we go. Now, I don't even know. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put, I think, a wall underneath these steps as well just to uh, fill up as much of the place as possible. So we're going to do another wall here. And hopefully we can, yes, we, oh, it's actually red. Is it red because I'm inside of it? No, it's red because it doesn't like it. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Uh, can't build there. There's something in the way. So I can build, why? Because the steps, I can't build directly under steps. That's the weirdest thing to me. All right, well, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to close in the steps with possibly another door. This is not going to be the prettiest thing ever, but I think it actually should work rather well. So, yeah, I didn't expect to be building this many walls, but let's try it out, just see what it looks like. So we're going to build a door space now. Oh, no, no, not actually doors. We need arches first, that's right, and then we can build the door. So a wood arch, uh, another three wood here, and then we got to build a door as well. God damn it. All right, so I guess I'll just build it like that, and then we're going to have a very, very big room in there. And finally, as the sun comes up, we have addressed this place. So hopefully, now is this done? I think, yeah, the wood arches are automatically done. Uh, it doesn't, oh yeah, I got to build one over here too. I totally forgot. And there's a stick on the ground for some reason. Okay, that's great at least. Uh, so yeah, it kind of looks weird over here, but I could actually put some storage over here, so this is gonna work out very well. I, I, I feel like I need to actually make the wood arch. Okay, I do. I'm crazy. I, th I thought I didn't for a second, but clearly I'm crazy. There we go. That looks a hell of a lot better. Now let's do it the same thing on this one. It'd be nice to hear a noise. That's the that's the one confusing part. So there we go. It actually still looks rather large in here. I was worried it was gonna look way too small. Uh, we can put some uh, tables over here and whatnot for storage. And inside here, what I think I'm gonna do... Oh, seriously, that is gonna get old very, very quickly. Oh, and so is that! So is that! I tried to jump on top of the door, and I fucking <laughs> missed again. Alright, we are okay, so no big deal, but uh, yes, going back to explaining what I'm going to do, I'm going to put another door over here and then just trash storage over here. Uh, I'm just going to throw whatever I want in there, and then I'll have some organized storage in here. Probably mostly food, because you got to remember, we do have all this area down here, too, for storage, so that's going to be the real junk that we never use. Like palm fronds, for example, because we have way too many of these things, and I want them out of my sight. the fuck is going on? Do I have something... Is there a palm frond stuck on me? Like, look at this. Look, look, look at my butt. I don't know what... What the fuck? So yeah, needless to say, I'm pretty happy to be getting rid of this stuff. So we're just going to, again, throw a lot of this related stuff in here. So let's uh, have a little bit of a spurge out here. And this stuff's going to go any everywhere anyways, just because of how much there is. But <laughs> you can see, that's exactly why I wanted this room. Just to store everything I don't really want. Oh, what the fuck was that? 
Ah! Why? I, I've never seen this before! Why did Day 19 have to scare the shit out of me? Okay, so this game must have uh, freaking updated since we last played, because we got the status effects now, we got a scary message every day. Like, that was really loud, it doesn't need to be that loud. I mean, congrats on surviving 19 days, but shit! Almost gave me a damn heart attack. All right, so we got the sticks as well. I think for any major resource that we need a lot of, I'm going to put them down here. So sticks as well. I'm still kind of strategizing this storage system that I got going on, but I do like the idea of sticks down here, uh, fronds down here, and of course these sticks are going to get everywhere. That's the problem. They don't perfectly stack. I would love that. They should update that where you drop them and they perfectly stack. A uh, Sticks all the way over here. I don't know if I forgot that one or if it just flew there. Alright, but that's looking a lot better now. We got lashings as well that need to go down there. I'm gonna put anything that we need together down there. Rocks as well. We got lots of rocks. So I guess what's mostly going inside is tools. Things that we don't actually have too much of yet. Uh, cause I want my tools separated from, you know, crafting resources and whatnot, so... Uh, yeah, it's not going to look that crazy in there just yet, but in the near future it probably will be. So we'll put some smaller stuff down here where we can see it. Rocks and, and ropes. And for example, the things I would like to store inside are things I don't really, or I'm not going to use too much, like this engine. We got another engine over here. Uh, we also got meat, wild boars and whatnot. That's gonna go in there. Flares, things like that. Weapons, stuff that we need separated and kind of organized. Okay, so going through the furniture list here, I actually really like the look of the corrugated table, something that's a lot more straight. The wood table, it looks like it's on its last legs already, so I think I'm going to look for planks and uh, metal so we can actually make these things. So for right now, I think the shelves look pretty good, the plank shelves, the wood shelves even look okay. Uh, I'm going to try out these hooks and see what they do. I I'm assuming that you can just attach a tool to it. So if we hang a hook here, for example, and then press E to interact. Okay, so I have to be holding something, I'm assuming. So what do we have that we don't really need? My machete is useful, and I'd like to put it on a hook. So let's see if we can hook this. I'm assuming maybe it's even just the hammer that would work. Because, yes, the machete's not going to work. So I'll go grab my hammer, and we'll see if that will. All right, this is something that looks like it could hang on a hook, and it can't. So what the fuck do you put on a hook in this game? Alright, so I got all my tools that I could quickly find just to see what works here. The pickaxe has got to be it. I know. Like, what? What is a hook for? Am, am I crazy to assume a hook would be for tools? Uh, okay, I, I can't obviously hit it. I'm, I'm very confused now. That doesn't sound good. Oh, yeah, there's totally new wind and whatnot. I did not know this game updated. I just randomly played it today. Are the waves getting bigger? Oh, this doesn't sound good at all. This is actually kind of scary. Oh my god, listen to the freaking wind! I better get inside because there's gonna be a fucking tidal wave or something. I do not like this. And yes, it looks like... Holy shit, I might be crazy, but those waves look a lot bigger. Maybe it's just my mind playing tricks with me. I kind of want to go out in it. In it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, the thunder. Everything is going bad. Look at the fucking waves! Look at that! Oh god. oh god, I'm scared! I'm actually scared! Oh my god, I gotta go out and look at this. Alright, we gotta, guys! We gotta go out and just to fucking try it! I feel like Lieutenant Dan right now. I might be losing my mind. Okay, let's let's get this thing off. Alright, alright, push it up. Push it off. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't I'm too excited, I can't seem to push this now. Alright, just have to ungrab my tool and we're just gonna drag this. I just Holy crap! I'm kind of no. I don't want to go out there, guys. I'm just gonna go for a little drive. I mean, look at this fucking wave. Okay, I am impressed, stranded deep. I am very impressed. I mean, the waves are a little bit broken. They're so friggin' strong. But I'm not going far, by the way. I just want to see if it's gonna flip me over or anything, so we can just kind of appreciate. Oh, hey, stingray! Oh, don't don't sting me. I I don't want to be Steve Irwin over here. Oh my god. Oh god, is that a tornado? I can't tell if that's a tornado or not. Okay, we're, we're, I think I'm going home, guys. I'm scared. I feel like I'm floating away. Oh god, this is not good, though. Okay, yeah, I'm having a very hard time turning. I mean, this thing's hard to turn to begin with. Well, not in a storm. I thought that was a tor- it looked like a tornado behind me, but I think it's just the actual cloud system. So, okay, 
I wasn't gonna go far, I just wanted to go out into it just to see what it'd be like boating in it. And yeah, safe to say I'm a little scared about going anywhere for the time being. Let's bring this in. Oh god, waves are coming in. Come on, boat. Get the friggin' side here. We don't need you. Don't sink on me. Don't sink on me. What the fuck? Come here. Come on. Come on, little rap. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Oh, I expected this to be a nice relaxed episode where we build a building and then freaking this happens. I mean, the waves are actually affecting the land as well. Oh, this is freaking awesome, man. Oh, I'm so glad I wasn't out in that though somewhere because I would be so scared. It's not so bad when I'm home and know where I am. Damn, nature! You scary! I just want to say that you are real freaking scary. This is just absolutely awesome. I mean, the sound is so loud. I'm yelling, and I'm not intentionally yelling, by the way. It's just really loud in my ears. But, like, even over here, you can see... I'm just blown away by how large the waves are. Like, look at this! Look at, look at the size of that freaking wave! It's actually breaking the water physics when it gets too close to the land. But, yeah, it is pretty serious out there. So, I'm gonna go try and focus on building right now. Ah, uh, but yeah, I'm just I'm so happy about this. All right, I'm seeing a little blue. I think we survived it, guys. So I said I was going to do some work. No, I was too busy just looking at it because it's freaking beautiful. But yeah, it looks like the storm has finally went over us and we survived it, guys. How long? That was a freaking long storm. Yeah, the day's almost over already. But it was worth it. That was real friggin' fun. So, I don't really know what I'm gonna do right now for tools. I thought we could actually start, you know, making some furniture and whatnot. But I definitely do want to get the plank furniture. I still don't know what this hook does, man. I, I really gotta figure out what we can put on this damn hook. But nothing is working, so I guess we'll just have to figure it out later. If you guys know in the comments below, I'm always listening, so feel free to let me know. For right now, I'm hoping they don't fall through the floor. I'm just gonna drop a bunch of tools in here. This is going to look a lot better later on. Uh, it's going to be our tool shed, essentially. But for right now, we're just gonna throw them on the floor in here, and it should be totally fine. So I gotta go back and find my axe. I, okay, it's right here. There's still another crude spear on the ground. All right, but it's looking a little bit better in here. Now, the engines and whatnot are also going to go in that room. Anything that we have to collect that we aren't going to use for a long time. Another crude spear. I've got spears everywhere. Also, our food. That's something else I need to address. And I think that will most likely be going in that room as well. I guess we can pick up our clay and put that in the other room. So at least we're organizing a bit. This is definitely not what our house is going to look like in the future. But I do need to definitely organize it a little bit in there. So we'll take the propeller. I mean, we got all these compasses and everything. There's, there's shit everywhere. Clay, clay. Another freaking palm front. You can get the fuck out of here. I don't, I don't want to deal with you. And then, and then we got all this medicine over here. So, you know you know what? Maybe I should make a wooden table for right now. We can always delete the table later on. I think it's definitely going to be worth it, though. So, if we go down here... Uh, and I definitely do need to build a doorway into here. Because the way we have it now is not the easiest of ways. So, furniture. I want... I guess I could do the shelf. The shelf actually looks okay. So, we need, uh, we need lashings. Where did I... Oh, yeah, I put the lashings in here. Perfect. So, we need... Oh, of course, I'm full. So, let's go... Let's go store this first. All right, so any engine parts that we're not going to use anytime soon, we're just going to put them underneath the stairs here. Keep them out of the way. Uh, I'm definitely going to build a door here later on. But for right now, that should be good. Now, baked beans and whatnot, that's obviously going to go in here. Actually, I wonder if I should put the shelving out here for food-related items because we need to deal with that. Oh, my God, it's already nighttime. All right, I'm just going to put them on my bed for right now. Or not. I guess I'm not putting them on my bed. And I just flipped my bed. Where'd my beans go? Oh, fuck. Did they fall through the floor? See, this is why living on a beach is just easier. There, there's all these other things you gotta worry about. I don't know where my beans are. They might be up there. I don't know. It's hard to see right now. I probably should have built the floor down here as well before I started put, storing stuff in here. But whatever. We got lots of clay down here. I know clay is gonna be needed for some crafting stations, so that's good. Alright, another morning. So I did some quick tidying up out here. I actually brought over our little yellow life raft, if you remember the last season. This was like the perfect coconut holder, so we're going to do that again out here. Uh, I might move all this stuff inside in the near future, but for right now, I'm going to keep my uh, water station and food stations out here. 
Uh, so all the crabs are just gonna stay here. But I definitely will be moving them into the inside in the near future. It's just no point to do it right now because we don't really need to do it. It would just look a little bit nicer. So all these related tools I'm gonna bring in there. I'm also going to build these inside because these definitely don't need to be outside. And yeah, we are pretty much organized now. We got our food over here, our water over there, and everything else inside. And then, of course, my recording crashed while I was doing a little bit more. So I'll quickly just explain what's going on. I built the furnace outside because uh, it's not actually allowed to be built on flooring for some reason. It was going right down to the ground. So I figured we would have the furnace out here, the brick maker out here, and then there's also a new plank maker. I don't know if it was in here before. But this thing looks awesome. So you can have a plank station now that I'm assuming turns logs into planks, which is going to be very useful. And that's something we are definitely going to do in the next episode. So yeah, I got the furnace set up. Aside from that, there's not much inside. I was hoping to do more today, but we either don't have the required materials or I don't really know what I want to do just yet. Because we definitely need to go out and get some more of these tarps. I made the mistake of using all my tarps as walls. I could use those for a lot of different crafting stations. And that is going to get so old so damn quick. So we do got to watch out for the doors here. I might actually just fully take off the door and not have a door on there. We'll see if it... Uh uh, gets fixed or anything. But yeah, I would love your input on what we should do in here. The reason why I'm not putting anything down right now is because I do want to get either plank tables or corrugated tables because uh, the wood tables just look absolutely awful. So we're going to wait for that. Aside from that, the crafting stations, a lot of them require things that we don't currently have. So uh, I want to bring my food in here and whatnot and get all the crafting stations upstairs. But for right now, I think we're going to end this one here, guys. I did my goal today of cleaning up. That's all I really wanted to do was get everything off of the beach and inside the place and actually start organizing all this. Now in the next episode, we're definitely going to be going out trying to get some more rare resources. I would like to get some uh, barrels, some tires, and some more tarps if we can get lucky. But yeah, I think this is a good time to end this episode, guys. We got to experience our first major hurricane in the game since it's been updated and uh, yeah, we did a little bit of organizing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.